Hello, Apple enthusiasts. Apple is back with their new iPad lineup. Well, it's not that different from the existing one, but here's one for you guys to check out. It is iPad A16 Bionic chip, 11th gen. They don't explicitly tell that it's like 11th gen, but you know, that makes sense. Like it is one after the 10th gen, so everybody's calling it 11th gen just to make it simpler, you know. This is the version I got 128 gigabytes. Uh, the box pretty much looked the same as the 10th gen, and like physically, you you won't see a lot of differences between the 10th and 11th uh, the reasons as why I got this will be covered later in this video so talking in terms of price this comes at 499 Canadian dollars and they have doubled the storage at the baseline model which is 128 gigabytes from 64 gigabytes we are living in 2025 but still they don't have face id instead they are still using touch id for the biometric why i got this i will get to that in a second so let's first enjoy the unboxing here as like how apple stuff works you know they just come with minimalistic materials for you and accessories so here we have the brick and also the charging uh, cable which is apparently type c i'm very happy that they haven't decided to exclude the brick from the box like iphones amazing and looking into the paperwork i was looking for the apple stickers and unfortunately they have excluded the apple stickers from the apple products going forward well that's a bummer right everyone expecting apple products so they should come with the stickers at least i know they want to save the environment but still you know so here's the experience for the unboxing yeah that was cool eh so at the back you won't see ipad written or the model number written anywhere so that's a new thing that they're doing from this ipad onwards i've been using this ipad for last two days now and i am in love with this because overall ipads have the same kind of os where basically even if you get the m chips or the a16 or a15 chips there's not a lot of stuff which will go different in each of them so they're not going to replicate mac os for sure and the simple reason behind that is if ipad comes up with mac os and its capabilities no one will ever go for the macbooks and the market might saturate because people mo like more portability than you know having a bigger machine right and i know for sure there might be some difference in opinion but this is a segment of a bigger market that i'm comparing that might wanna be protected by you know keeping ipad and mac os systems and macbooks different so the three major reasons why i returned my m2 ipad air was first of all there was no big difference between the 10 gen sorry the 11 gen and the air so it was practically the same thing with you know minor differences and i was like i'm not gonna keep it for that expensive if i'm not getting that much value out of it right the second point being i already have a macbook air m1 and the kind of editing or the apps that i use that is pretty much more than enough for me for any kind of you know laptop use that i want to do so ipad was not really an option for me to be replacing my macbook for that purpose and the third reason being even though ipads have m4 m3 chips i already have a macbook that does the coding part for me so being software developer i don't really need ipad for coding but if you're an artist or a media company it might come in handy Make sure to leave your comment highlighting what is your opinion and I'll see you in the next one.